Hi, this is part three of the introduction to DMX lighting. Uh, this one is going to talk about planning. And uh, planning is an area that's not uh, really covered too much. When I was first starting out, I uh, found there's pretty much nothing on YouTube, nothing in uh, online in that. Uh, so what we'll do is uh, we're going to take a, a cut away to a little video I've made of, a, of the system that I'm running. It's just a small system. And uh, then we'll come back. Hi. All right. So uh, what we're going to do here is uh, this is our controller. It's the uh, Behringer LC242. I've got the lights a little bit dim here just so we can see. And what we have is we have a series of uh, DMX fixtures up here. Uh, we've got a moving head and then we've got four um, par lights and then there's another moving head in the background and that. And what we're going to do is just plan this. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six lights up here. And we also have a special color temperature light up here and that. Um, so part of the very first thing is to get the plan for it and say, okay, I've got to hook up uh, my cables. So from my controller, what I have is a DMX output that's in the back here, right? And it comes up, it's the purple wire. It comes up this line and it goes into the first uh, fixture up here. And then it's daisy chained through it to the second one, the third one, the fourth one, and that. In actual fact, uh, I think it goes to this one first. Yeah, it goes to this one first, and then it goes over here. The actual order doesn't really matter. It's just uh, whatever is convenient for you. And what you're going to do is set base addresses for each one of these ones so that uh, uh, you can talk to each one of these devices. And, uh, Part three, planning your universe. So the very first thing what we're going to do is create a table. And it's, the table is going to indicate all the DMX addresses, what uh, fixtures are assigned to them, and what uh, each of the addresses, descriptions, or functions are. Right? Uh, so I'm going to start with my first fixture, which is, fixture, which is an ICANN RBX5. So you have to consult the fixtures documentation. Uh, this is what the ICANN looks like. It's basically a color temperature fixture. Um, channel 1 is a brightness. So 000, if, if you uh, send 000 to the brightness channel, it'll turn off and 255 will be as bright as possible. Uh, channel 2 is a color temperature. So you can have a color temperature of uh, 3200 Kelvin, or, uh, which is uh, tungsten, or 5600 uh, Kelvin, which is daylight. Right, so this is what this one's used for. So now I know it has two channels. Uh, one is for brightness, as one is for color temperature. So in my table, I document that the ICANN, and uh, I'm going to start at the DMX address one, the first one, and that'll be our base address, and it's going to control the brightness for the ICANN. Uh, the next address two is channel two, works out nice, channel one two. It's going to control the color temperature. Right, so. If we put a zero in there, it'll be 3200 Kelvin, 128, 4600 Kelvin, 255, 5600 Kelvin. Uh, the next free DMX address is address three, and that'll be used for the next fixture, which will be our 12 LED moving head uh, RGBW lamp. Again, what we'll have to do is consult the uh, uh, documentation that came with this one. And we notice that it runs in two modes, seven channel mode and 13 channel mode. <coughs> now, uh, seven channel mode is sort of the bare bone ones. You've got pan, tilt. Pan is a, a sort of a horizontal level movement. Tilt is up and down. Um, it has a cha channel three on it is the dimming strobe and all bright. And four, five, six, seven is our red, green, blue, white. Right? Uh, now, what's interesting on this it says channel three is dimming. I'm looking at this part over here. This is actually the master dimmer. The master dimmer is from zero to 199. And then it throws a, a strobe effect in. And then you can have it fully bright also. Uh, what's the difference between channel seven or seven channel mode and 13? Well, 13 mode gives you a very fine uh, option. So uh, it takes eight bits for one channel. This will give you 16 bits of resolution for your panning and 16 bits for tilt. So if you had to do some very fine resolution uh, panning and tilting, then you might consider a 13 channel mode. It also uh, gives you control over the pan tilt speed. So uh, uh, you can have, you can increase or have slow pans or fast pans and that, um, and tilts. It has a, a master dimmer 
channel also. And then it has a bunch of functions that uh, I don't use, like 32 kinds of color mixing, a whole bunch of different strobe effects. And it also has your sound activation here. So none of this I use. So I'm just going to use the seven channel mode, keep it nice and simple. Uh, you set the mode using the display menu. So uh, this is a display menu uh, over here. We can see that you have a menu key up, down, enter. This is pretty standard for anything that uses a LED display on it. Uh, the menu will get you into the choices. These are the displays for the menus. They use abbreviated words like ADDR is for your DMX address. CHDND is the channel mode. And that's the one that we're interested in. Right? Uh, so we can scroll through the... Uh, Menus, you just click on here, that'll pop up the different menus. And then once you're into a menu, you hit enter, and then you can go up and down, and that will select the different options that you have. Right? So I've got a little video I'll pop in here that I've uh, gone up and uh, changed the mode just for you to see. It's never as easy as it seems. Like if this was sitting on my desk, it would be great, but it's mounted up on a, uh, up close to the ceiling, so I have to use a ladder. Hold, uh, uh, You'll see what, what happens. All right, so this is my moving head, 12 LED LED. I think it's got 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, yeah. I just counted the LEDs. That's how they're described. And what we're, oops. And what we're gonna do is we're going to set the mode. So I look at our, uh, let's see if I can get no reflection here. I'm looking at the menu. Now notice that this is upside down. This is a typical problem here. Uh, that's enter. I think that's menu. So go through. Now notice it's upside down. So what I'll do is I'll flip it this way. And, whoops. So let's see. I'll go menu, go to the next item, I think that's right channel, so it's upside down, so let's see what happens if I flip this, so we can see, yeah, channel, and it reset itself, so we'll go back to here, channel, enter, and it's set for seven channels so I'd hit enter so I have a choice I can do uh, 13 channel seven channel I hit enter and now it should be done so let's see what happens when we hit here it's set for set for seven channel I'm kind of stretched on a ladder here so that's why it's kind of bouncing around and these are the different modes that it can go into so if we just leave it, it'll go back to regular. Uh, so we've got to document the moving head RGB. Our, our base address is three. That was the first uh, available address. And uh, so we put in our values for seven channel mode, our pan, tilt, our dimming, strobe, all bright, red, dimmer, green, dimmer, blue, and white. And we started base address three. So base address three will be our pan. DMX address four is our now our tilt. Five is our dimming, which is our master dimmer. Six is our red dimmer. Seven green, eight blue, and nine white. Uh, that leaves the next address is uh, DMX address 10 will be the base address for the next device. Next fixture is our PAR RGBW lamp. Uh, it's got seven uh, it's a seven channel device. So the first channel is a master dimmer, controls RGB and white. Uh, red dimmer controls brightness for red, green dimmer, blue, white dimmer. So we have a master and a white dimmer. And then we have a function. So we can select if it's going to be a strobe, a jump change. I think I mentioned in another video that I thought it would, uh, um, I skipped over that. The jump change is the one where it'll change from colors abruptly. Uh, gradient change is it'll slowly fade between colors. Uh, pulse change, I think it'll pulse between colors. And then voice change is uh, for voice activation. And channel 7 controls the function speed. So we document the first PAR uh, RGBW. 
Uh, it's got base address 10, and we indicate the functions here. Uh, the more information you can put down in this table, the better. It'll help you down the road, right? So uh, address 17, uh, we've used up to 16, so 17 will become the base address for the next fixture. And I have three more identical fixtures, so I'm just going to cut and paste them. So this is our second par. I've cut and pasted it in here. I, last one was 16 on our first part, so I, my base address is 17. So I just go 17, 18, 20, 22, 23. Next channel avail, our address available is 24, so I cut and paste on it also. Uh, same story here, base channel 24, the functions are put in with the addresses. Uh, the next one will be base address 31. Uh, cut and paste it all in. Now I've got my table. Address 38 will be become the base address for the next fixture. So once you get one of these done, then it's easy to cut and paste and you get your address table. I've got a seven lead moving uh, head and uh, it's got seven. You can just count here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? That's pretty standard on how you identify these things by the number of LEDs in it. Uh, our base address is 38 and it says it controls the brightness. That's not quite true. So I'm just going to controls the pan. I was doing some cut and paste and that. Uh, so this is, uh, we figured this out very similar to um, the previous moving head. We looked at the uh, uh, spec sheet for it and we found out that it has, an, it uses nine channels. It has pan level, tilt. Uh, then it has a, a channel 40 that we can use for uh, dimming. Um, that would be our master dimmer. Uh, we can set it for strobe. We can do a medallion in it, something I've never tried with this thing. I'm not sure what they mean by medallion. This was actually, I translated it from Chinese because I got this from Hong Kong. Uh, it's got the red, green, blue, and white dinner. It also has the motor speed and it has a reset, which I haven't tried. So that takes care of uh, part three, which is our planning. Uh, what we'll do is we'll continue on with part four. Part four is actual cabling and addressing. So we'll see what we have to do. Now that we have our uh, DMX addresses set, then we can go and actually start addressing the uh, uh, fixtures and we can set up the cabling.